so now today we'll start from creating a database so at the point of time when when we are going to work on some tables or anything at that point we must have a database so what is the database so database is collection of all the records and all the storage that a company or a venture or anything has and we have to store that data into a database so database is a hub in which each and every type of data is stored so right now when we are learning sql at that point of time we are working on a relational database management system so what is a relational database management system so a relational database management system is a system in which the data is in the form of relations so now what are relations so relations are basically the rows and columns so when we are working on our relational database so we are working on the tables and tables are in the form of row and column so we are going to create different different sort of tables and we are storing that tables inside a database so now first of all we have a knowledge that how to create a database so when we are going to create a database there is a very simple syntax to create a database so i'm just telling you that so firstly i will comment this out like uh, how to create a database now the first step when at the time when we are going to create a database so we can create a database by giving any name that we want so right now there is a very simple syntax that we have to write create database and then we have to write the name of the database that we are creating so right now my database name is xyz so this is my database so after creating my database i have to execute this command so i am executing this command so this says that database xyz already exist choose the different database name so for example if we want if if there is a database name with the same name as well you can give a different database so i will give this a name as sql course class first and i will run this so now this is the command completed successfully which means that my database is created inside my server inside my sql server there is a database called sql course class one now after creating this database i also want to use this database because only creating a database will create a database in the sql server but for example all the data and all the tables that are you are going to store inside that so at that point of time you have to make sure that you are using that own database because you are going to store the files and records in that only so right now i will write the syntax to how the how to use the database that you have created so this is use and i will write sql course class 1 so now i have written the same name sql course class 1 and, and i will execute this so now it is command completed successfully which means now i am going to work on this database only this sql course class 1 so after doing this thing after using this database now i will tell you how to create tables how to create table inside a database so at the point of time when i am going to create a table in my database so firstly i will tell you what are the data types what are the data types so, so when you are working on sql a relational database management system at that point of time there are some specific data types that you have that you are working with every day so i will i will not tell you about each and every data type but i will tell you about the data types that are more frequently used in the sql so first data type is int data type so what int do so int is int is used to store numerical as well as well as integral values so now after this int we have we will come to the var char data type so var char data type is used to store strings and alpha particle values so 
varchar is used for string and as well as alphabetical values. After that, there is a float data type. Float. The float data type is used to store decimal values or point values. After this float, there is a data type called as the date type. So date time data type is used to store date as well as the timestamp. So what is the timestamp? For example, if you are inserting some record at this point of time, so the time which is 12.51 a.m. is my timestamp. Okay. After this, this there is also a data type called as care data type. So what care is used? For what care is used? Basically, care is care is same as care care. But there is a difference. There is a difference. What is the difference? So when we are using where care, so where care is taking values dynamically. For example, you are using where care and you have passed 20 parameters inside the where care. So for example, if your name is of five characters, then it will dyna dynamically create a five space uh, uh, size and it will assign that value into that. But for example, if you are using care and you are giving 20 as a size, so at that point of time, if your name consists of only five letters, then all the 15 spaces will be padded as a space. A space. So all the 15s that are remaining will be padded as a space. So yeah, that is the difference between care and where care. And after this, there is one more data type known as timestamp, which is related to for a time purpose. Time purpose. So basically, these are some data types that we are going to use when we are creating our tables and when we are defining our schema of the tables. These are some uh, type of data types that we use. There are many other data types as well, but if we will use them in our other classes, then I will tell you about that also. So now the th second thing is about constraints. Constraints are also very important because when we are going to create a table at that point of time, we must have to apply some set of rules. So what are constants? So constants are basically set of rules. So for example, if you are going to define your table, if you are going to define your table, and you are taking some column names as well at that point of time the time you have to make sure that you are applying some certain rules and certain regulations on that columns as well so what are the different different types of constraints so we have six type of constraints one first constraint is not none second constraint is primary key third constraint is foreign key Fourth is unique. Fifth is check. And sixth is default. So by the name, you are going to uh, see that when we are uh, talking about non not null constraint. So for example, if I am defining my table, if I am defining my table and uh, I am giving a column as name, my name column, and I am giving a data type as well as name where care 20 and i am defining not null there so at that point of time when i am going to insert my records in the table so i have to make sure that i am passing something inside my name column because the name column has taken a constant not null so there i have to pass something because if i will pass a null value or a null thing on or, or nothing at that point of time it will cause me an error so not null constraint is used to make sure that you are passing something inside that table column and it is not null. So now we will talk about primary key. So basically primary key is a type of a key in which, for example, if in my table there is a customer's table and there is a customer ID. So everybody knows that when a customer is registering on any website, on Amazon or any Flipkart or Google, at that point of time, there is a customer ID. 
and the customer id is a unique id because it is allotted to every customer so it is a unique id so what is the primary key the primary key has two colors two like when you are defining something as a primary key then you are making sure that that thing is unique as well as that thing is not none when you are defining anything as a primary key so you have to make sure that that thing must contain some value and that cannot be like that is unique value so you are not going to pass any duplicate value inside the primary key so now we will talk about a foreign key so foreign key basically foreign key is a key which prevents the actions that destroy the relationship between the two tables so basically what is a foreign key for example there are two tables and we want to establish a relationship between two tables so in my first table there is a column customer id and in my second table there is also a column customer id so if i want to join these two tables then i have to make sure that i am establishing some relationship inside that so first thing if i will make customer id of my primary table as a primary key and if i am passing that same customer column in my second table as a foreign key so now i will be able to join my two tables i will be able to establish a relationship between two tables but for example if someone comes and he wants to change something in our secondary table so he has to ask permission from the primary table as well whether i am going to change this thing will this cause you any problem and if primary key will say that no it will not cause me any problem then he can change that thing in the secondary table but previously the thing that you are changing in the secondary table must have a permission from the primary table column so this is the this is the preventing of actions that are destroying the relationship so basically this is the exact definition of foreign key so a primary key in a table can be referred to as a foreign key in a different table with same column name or a different column name but the values must be same so now the unique what is unique basically from the word unique you are getting to like understand that unique is something that is unique like for example if you are passing any column as roll number and if you are passing that roll number as unique so every person every record that you are inserting inside your table must be unique it cannot be duplicated so now what is check so when we are talking about the check constraint at that point of time we have to make sure that for example if i have passed my age column and i have passed a check constraint as well at that point of time if in the check constraint i have passed age greater than 24 so when i am going to insert something in my table at that point of time that age must be greater than 24 because i have passed a check condition there so now what is about default so basically default is used to give a default value to the column whose value we are not going to insert for example i have defined a column name as class so i am defined a column name as class and i am giving a default value as fifth class so now for example if i am inserting something in the class thing then it will be the same that the thing i am inserting but for example if i forgot to insert anything inside that default column then it will automatically take fifth class as a default class so now these are some constraint and these are some data types now i am going to tell you how to create a table so how to create a table so now when i am going to tell you how to create a table at that point of time the simple syntax to create a table is create table and i will pass any name of the table that i want to give for example i want to give my table a name as impress now i will pass my columns in the inside this employee table so first thing 
after create like after dropping a syntax to how to create a table first thing is what are the columns in the table so first column will be my employee id so i want my employee id so employee id can be an integer value as well as a varchar value as well but right now i am taking employee id as an integer value and now i am passing a constant a set of rule to my employee id which is primary key so now this is my employee id and i have passed a constant primary key now comma i am going to pass my second column name that is employee name and i am passing the data type of employee name so employee name is a kind of a string so we are taking var char var char 20 and i'm passing 20 uh, things inside that so name must be of a 20 character not more than 20 characters so now i am passing this as a not null so i now i have to make sure that i am dropping something inside my employee name column it can't be null so now third thing will be employee roll number employee roll number so i am passing the employee roll number as int only and this time i am passing that it must be unique so now my employee roll number will be a unique roll number now the fourth thing is age so now in age column i am going to like define my age as a integer data type and i will pass check and i will pass age greater than 25 now this will check this will only insert the records where the age is greater than 25 and now my last thing is my default so i will pass country and i will uh, give the data type of my country so it will be var char 20 and i will pass default and after default i will give a country as india now this is my table completed so i will execute this table so at the point of time i have executed that this table i can't execute it again because this table is created inside my database so see when i am again executing this table it is saying that there is already a object name employed in my database so now what i will do i will do i will insert some the some of the records in in this table to show you how these constants are working so i will write so i will tell you two ways to insert the records in the table so right now i will tell you the first way that how to insert multiple records in the table so i will write insert into and i will write this employees employees and then i will write values and now i will pass the values so if i am inserting these values without passing the references of columns inside this bracket so i have to make sure that i am passing all the values i am passing all the values and they must be in a ordered format i will pass 101 comma name will be durgesh yadav comma the roll number will be 22 comma age will be 454 sorry 424 and the country uh, and the country will be this uh, china for example china so what do you think like whether this thing will execute or not so now i will tell you whether this thing will be executed or not so i will execute it so see that thing is not executed why it's not executed because i have passed a check constant in my age that age must be greater than 25 so age is 24 here so that side this record can't be inserted so now i will pass age as 26 so i will see whether this record will get inserted or not yeah this record is inserted so now how to check the records inside my table so i have to write select star from employees So I will write select star from employees, and I will run this. So you can see that we have a t column, like we have a row inside our table as we have inserted. Now I will again pass a different row by different format. So for example, I will write insert into employees 
and this time I will pass my columns as well. For example, I will pass uh, this employee ID, comma employee name, comma employee role number, and I will uh, pass this age as well, and I will pass his country as well. So in this way of inserting the records, you can insert the specific records also. For example, if you only want to pass these three values in, into your table, then you can place these three columns in your employee reference and you will only pass these three values into your insert in, into the values column. And that will be the, in the same order that they are listed here. So now I will pass the values. And the first thing is employee ID. So I will write 101 again. And I will write the employee name as Abhinav. Now after this, I will write the, the employee role number as 23. And I will pass the age as uh, 27. And I will pass, I will not pass the country as like, I will not pass the country. So what did this thing will do? I will insert this record. So what do you think whether it will execute or not take your time so now i am going to execute it so yeah there are more columns in the instead insert statement that value is specified in the values clause so we have five things here and we are passing only four things so we have to pass this thing as well so i am going to pass this thing as uh, this uh, england so now I will execute it. So whether it will execute or not. So I am executing it. And this is saying that you are violation of primary key. Because what primary key says the value must be unique and not null. But the values are same here. So I have to change this value. So it will be 102. So now this row is affected. Which means that all the conditions and all the constraints are satisfied. So now we are getting these two records. So now this is all about this uh, constraints part and now I will tell you like I will give you an example of foreign key how foreign key is working. So let me uh, go to my different table. So yeah and I'm going to open a file for you people to un make you understand for how the foreign key is working. So yeah this is the thing so for example if i have these three, three tables if i have these three tables employee table manager table and department table and for example i want to establish a foreign key relationship between these three tables so at that point of time which table i will first, first execute so take your time and uh, think that which table will be executed first So, okay, I'm going to tell you which table will be executed first. So, this department table has no dependencies of any foreign key. This department table has no dependencies of any foreign key. So, this table will be executed first. After this table is executed, we will come to the manager table. Why we will come to the manager table? Because manager key table has a dependency of foreign key of department ID from the department table. So for example, after executing this, we can execute this table as, as well. And this table will also get executed because the primary key of this table is a foreign key of this table. So yeah, when you, are, when you want to define anything as a foreign key, at that point of time, you have to pass the name, the pass the column name, you have to pass the data type, and just you have to write this foreign key references foreign key references and that and after that you have to pass the table name and then the column that you want to make as a foreign key so yeah so for example if somebody comes and want to change make some changes in your manager table so at that point of time this department id is matched with this department id of department table so he has to make some changes here then he can make changes there he cannot directly make changes in the foreign key table. Okay. So now I will tell you an example. For example, in this, 
this department table there is a department id 101 comma 102 comma 103 comma 104 and and in this manager table there is a column there there is the records are like this 102 102 103 and 104 whether this condition will satisfy it for both the cases so answer will be yes why answer will be yes because in this department id department id is a primary key so we have to make sure that it is different and it is not null so yeah this is different this is not null but in this foreign key table we are passing the same values two times 102 is passed two times so it doesn't make any sense like it is correct why it is correct because this primary key column is primary key department ID is in department table, but it is not a primary key in manager table. So you can give as much as duplicacy here that like you can give all the four columns 102 only that will work. But if you will pass here duplicacy, if you will duplicate things here, it will not work. So the foreign key column has the duplicate primary key values, but the primary key column will have only unique and not null values. So that is the concept behind this foreign key. So now I am going to like this constant topic is over. So I'm not I'm going to tell you something about different different clauses. So this is like uh, how to insert records in uh, by passing the references. Now I again tell you one more way to insert some records. So I will just copy this thing. I will just copy this thing and I will paste this thing. And I will pass a comma here and I will again copy this much thing and paste it here. Now I will just change some little short of things. I will take it 102 and I will uh, make it 25 and I will make it 26 here and I will uh, make it 104 and I will make it 103. So now I want to pass two records in a one go. So I can pass it by this manner by giving all the values then comma and then again giving the different values so these two records are also inserted so now when i will select a start from employees at that point of time i will get these three four records so these four records are satisfying all the constant topics and all the constant values and these are the four records that are inserted here so now after this after this these things after these things now we are going to take a look on our clauses we know how to create a database we know how to use the database we are getting how to create a table and we are also getting how to insert the records in the table and how to select all the records from the table as well now the second thing will be where clause so now we are going to study about the where clauses so first we have to save this file because i have to send this file to you as well so I will just escape class one and I will save this file to my download section. Yeah, I saved that file. Now I'm going to tell you about the some different different clauses. So I am going to uh, start a new query tab. And now I will I have some table with me. So I'm going to take that table as well. So just I'm going to take this uh, my ecom database. So I will going to take my ecom database. So I will write use ecom database. So now I have ecom database created earlier only. So now I'm going to use it. I have, don't have to create it repeatedly. Like I have created it earlier. So I right now I can use it and I will get the access to all my tables inside my database. So I have a table called customers table. So I will just write select star from customers. customers new now i will run this thing and it will show me how what are the tables inside my customers new column so now now i will we will learn about where clause so by where clause where clause is used to give some conditions some specific condition by which we are going to fetch some records from our table firstly i will tell you how to select uh, how to select 
all the records from the table, how to select some set of records. So firstly, I will tell you how to select all the records from the table. So if you want to select all the records from the table, you have to just write select asterisk from customer's name. And it will select you all the records from the table. Now, if you want specific columns from your table, so you have to write select first name, comma, last name from my table name. My table is customers new. And when I will write this thing, when I will execute, it will give me only two columns. So now you will get to understand that how to select a specific columns from our table. Now I will again execute this thing and now we will work on some where clause questions. So firstly we have the clause. So I want the people, I want the records where the customer ID, customer ID is divisible by 2. So everybody knows that what is divisible by 2. So a number that is divisible by 2 must have a remainder as 0. The number which will be divisible by 2 must have a remainder as 0. So I will write select star from customers new where where now it will put the condition. The condition is on customer ID. So we are customer ID. Customer ID modulus 2 is equal to 0. So what it will do when I will run this. It will give me all the customer IDs who are divisible by 2. So this where clause had worked for me. Like I have given this thing and that where clause has worked for me. Now, for example, if I want, if, if I want the records, I want the records who has their month of joining as April. April. So when we are doing these type of questions at that point of time, we are giving that their month of joining as April. So what I will do is write select star from customers new. And now, according to this table, what do you think that what will be the joining month? So for joining month, we have to say that see the date entered joining date. So what will be the joining date column? The joining date column will be date entered column. So what I am seeing that I want to check the month. So I will write where month and I will pass this date entered entered and I will pass is equal to 4 because April is the 4th month. So now I will run this. It will give me all the records of from the April month. So for example, in this question only, now I want the month as April and year as 2021. So I will write year and I will pass the date entered. Date entered is equal to 2021. So what it will do? It will give me the that thing as well. So where the date entered is 2020, where the month is Four and the date entered is 2020 and the year is 2021, all the records are filtered. So this is somewhat type of where clauses. So you can get, get give a, as many guess conditions that you want to give your where class. Now we will now we will talk about like operator. So how like operator is working. For example, if I want all the may all the records of of the customer whose name starts with day. So how I'll do it? I will write select star from customers new where where 
what the name starts with a so for starting name it will be the first name so where first name name like so if i want to check something from starting so i have to pass that thing in starting inside the inverted commas and then i will pass percentage so what will it will check it will check all the names where the first name starts with a now if i want to check if i want to check the names that are ending with a so i have to write the same condition select the star from customers new where uh last name because i am checking the last word of the name where last name like and now if you want to check the letter or any occurrence at the last so you have to place that letter in the last so firstly you have to place percentile that the letter now it will check me all the names where the last letter is a for example for example somebody asks you i want all the names where the first and last letter first and last letter ends with a so i have given a here you can take any one like a b c d anything so now i will write the condition select customers new most new where where this your uh, where this first name first name first name like and now you can pass the percentile in between and a is this side and a is this side now what it will check it will check all the names who, who where the first name it will give me all the record where the first name is starting with a a as well as ending with it amanda angela a a a and andrea a so now now i will tell you a tricky question so how to find out how to find out all the records where the name starts or end with vowels so there are many ways to do this so firstly i will select my table from customers so when i will run this it will give me all the records from my customer table so now what it what is my process like how i will do it this so i will write it in a different way so the basic way of doing this is like uh, like writing first name like a percentile or first name like e percentile or first name like i percentile and then again for this last thing first name like percentile a percentile e percentile i do it that is very lengthy method so i will give you a perfect method for this so select star from customers new where first name like and i will pass percentile in bits between and in this big brackets i will pass a e i o u and again in this bracket i will pass a e i o u now it will give me all the names where the first name starts with a e i u or ends with a e i o u so it doesn't means that you are checking the a e i o u with like it's not it this a e i o u is not a complete string when it is passed inside the bracket then it means either a either e either i either o or either q that is a like of a thing so now if you want to check if you want to check any substring in your main column column with like operator how will you will check this so for example i want to check i want i want to check ama ama 
of strength in my first day. So what is substring? Substring is a part of a string. For example, this is the James. James. So A M E is a substring. M E S is a substring. J E M J A M is a substring. For example, if I want to check any substring in my column, so I what I will do? I will write select start from customer's name where first name like and I will pass this thing and I will put two percentile this time and I will pass A M A here. Now how it will check this thing? It will check like I will show you how it will check. So this is the AMA, so Amanda is there and AMA is in Samantha as well. Now, how is this checking? For example, I'm writing Amanda. So now, why it is, how it is checking? It is seeing that AMA are three letter words. So firstly, it will check AMA, whether there is a uh, match or not. After this, MAN, whether there is a match or not. After this, AND, whether there is a match or not. After this NDA, whether this is matching to AMA or not, and after this it will end because it will take three characters. So now in the first iteration, in the first iteration AMA, it it encountered that AMA is a substring mentioned here. So it has given me this record. So like this way it will check. So that's all about the class the like operator. We have uh, we I am telling like I have told you about constants as well. I have told you about data types as well, and I have told you how to create a table and how to create a database, and also to create the how to how to insert the records. So that's all for the class today, and thank you so much.